Hi, I'm Neil Berman for the On Button, and this is the Motorola S10 HD Stereo Bluetooth headset. The S10 HD is a successor to a similar line of headsets that Motorola have released in the past. There was the S9 and the S9 HD, which were both pretty good headsets. S9 HD had really excellent sound, and the S10 HD, happy to say, follows in a similar tradition. The S10 HD allows you to listen to stereo music um, hooked up over Bluetooth to a cell phone or another device that supports streaming of stereo audio over Bluetooth. It'll also allow you to handle calls and also change track and play pause if your device supports AVRCP properly. And fortunately, the iPhone now does, so that brings iPhone users and um, iPod Touch users of the latest generation and the latest generation software of iOS OS, and also soon iPad users, when the update comes in November, will be able to make full use of a headset like this. Other smartphone users on Android and BlackBerry um, will most likely find that their smartphone already supports both A2DP, which is the stereo audio protocol, and also AVRCP, which is the remote control protocol. So getting back to the headset itself, um, it's a fairly unique headset design. Um, I find it to be pretty comfortable. It's that the arms spring outwards and then they grip back towards your head. So it, it actually creates quite a tight, snug fit. It's quite a polarizing design. Some people find it's a little bit too too grippy and uh, other people find it can be very comfortable over a long period of time. The little ear pieces on the end of the actual um, headphones themselves are interchangeable there are four different sizes so it is possible to find a size that's the, the right actual size for your ears so that can help the the fit and comfort of the headset itself um, what i also found was that the different ear pieces have a very profound impact upon the type of sound that comes through the headset so the small ear pieces which are the ones that you can see here produce a sound that, that brings out the human voice much more and the frequencies around the mid-range um, doesn't pronounce the bass so much but as you put on the larger earpieces the resonance around the actual um, plastic of the earpieces, the rubber of the earpieces rather um, creates a bass resonant effect and you get a lot more bass coming through the headset so um, it's quite interesting that, that you're able to vary the tonal quality of the headset by changing the, the earpieces one thing that is really nice about the S10 HD is that Motorola has fixed an issue that the S9 and S9 HD had that those headsets would very frequently lose a connection to, to your cell phone if you're walking around in a very open area and if your cell phone was a long way away from the uh, headset when you're walking or jogging. I found with the S10 HD that the headset maintained a very strong lock on the cell phone. I, I went for a bit of a jog in a very open field and uh, it was absolutely perfect connectivity. The music was streaming through consistently the whole time, which was great. Um, there is a standard USB charging port on the uh, S10 HD. Um, the battery goes quite a long time. Um, I haven't been able to do a, a full battery drain test, but it certainly feels like it goes a lot longer than the S9 HD. But then my S9 HD is over a year old, so uh, the battery might have degraded a little bit um, over that period of time. Um, any downsides of the S10 HD? Um, similar to some of the other Bluetooth um, stereo headsets I've tested recently, like the Plantronics Backbeat and uh, Motorola's own S9 HD and uh, Sony's DRBT50, um, the S10 HD does have a minimum volume level that doesn't go all the way down to zero. Um, if you're hooking up to a device um, such as an iPad or, or, or the uh, BlackBerry Bell 9700, as I, as I was, um, that hands over control of the volume to the headset. So the, the, the headset volume will go um, down fairly low, but not all the way down to zero. I found for the S10 HD that it didn't actually go as low enough as I would want. Um, if I was listening in an extremely quiet environment and I wanted the music on very, very quietly, and the S10 HD wouldn't quite go low enough for me. Um, I actually thought it was an issue with the headset originally, and I did send it back to Motorola, and they sent me out a, a, a new one as a replacement. Um, it exhibited exactly the same behavior. So it would be great if uh, the manufacturers could actually figure out a way to get these headsets to go all the way down to either a neg negligible or, or a zero volume level. But um, you know, that's, that's one gripe and an otherwise uh, very, very nice um, stereo Bluetooth headset. 
it retails at $79.95 um, in the US. It's available right now. Uh, it's a very good competitor to the Plantronics Backbeat 903 and 906, which are probably the, the closest competing headset to the Motorola S10 HD. That was a review of the Motorola S10 HD Stereo Bluetooth headset. I'm Neil Berman for the On Button. Thank you.